Right now we're in front of the Harry Potter sign at Watford Junction and we're waiting for the bus to go to the studios where Harry Potter was actually filmed and so we're going there today and we're going to go on a tour and we're going to, you know, drink butter beer and go to three room sticks hopefully and then maybe there's going to be a, you know, Hogsmeade store. I don't really know what it's about but um, in the coming video you'll see what is going to happen. <laughs> We just got our tickets because we didn't post them because we were all over the place. Um, and when you get the child ticket, you got this passport thing which has like trivia and stuff and you can put stamps. And I always love these things because they're like, you know, it's like a quest to find all of the stamps and answer all the questions and it's really cool. Yeah, we're gonna get in at 11.30 and it's 11.20 right now. So we're waiting in line for the queue, as I say, um, to get our tickets. And so we're waiting in line for the entrance hall that they have on the ceiling. On the upper wall. They have a bunch of pictures of the other characters and stuff, and it's really cool. Um, and I have my audio guide here, which is going to tell me it's not free. Thank you, announcement. Would all visitors please be aware that we are currently admitting tickets with 11.30 time stops only. If you have a later tour, please join the queue 10 minutes before the time stated on your ticket. Thank you. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Annie. It's my pleasure to welcome you today to the Warner Brothers Studio Tour London, the making of Harry Potter. And of course, the first time we ever see the Great Hall during the sorting ceremony. So we can't be in this magnificent room without talking about our warm Hogwarts housing. We're in the set design, the props and the costumes, and this is the Yule Hall. Um, the bridges section, I guess. There's a really cool ice sculpture. In continuity here. Because in the fourth book, they have this cabinet where um, the pensive is in, and it's like this giant basin of stone and stuff. And then in the sixth movie, they have the pensive again, but it's this tiny little shallow basin that's floating above the floor and stuff. And at first, I thought that the shallow basin was just inside of the giant stone goblet, and then it was not in continuity. But here, the set is actually a stone basin where the pencil is, so it's in continuity. Yeah. That's very cool. You can see the progression of visual images. Yeah. 